Hey, what's going on team? Today I'm going to walk you through my SPY trades that I took um, that led to me being done with the trading day in about 25 minutes. So SPY was a short idea below 394 today. So we just have a white trend line drawn across 394. Um, we had that CPI data come out and uh, SPY had already dropped pretty uh, pretty heavily yesterday. We got another drop this morning in the pre-market session. So you know, the, the, the trade idea for me was stick with what's moving and try to stick with the trend of the stock uh, that is moving. So the stock that was moving is SPY um, and the trend was down, right? So naturally, I'm just looking for a continuation short. This is something that I put out in the, uh, in the alert room um, this morning, right? I, I, I put it out even yesterday before uh, the watch list even came out. I said I was looking for a continuation short idea on um, pretty much everything. So market opens up, right? SPY has a little bit of green and then goes red, red, red. So the red move down below the trigger level at 394 from nearly 396 was a pretty hefty move. Um, I actually took an entry down here and quickly closed that position out when I realized what I was doing. So Three, uh, 835, so I'm, we're just going to match up the minutes here. 835 today, looking to short SPY on a rally, right? So this was on this candle right here. This was literally the rally to the trigger level. So we know we don't chase the moves down, so taking an entry here wouldn't have worked. Instead, we want to wait for the rally. I actually took my entry short on this rally here and sold it as we got the move down to the low day. Wasn't a big percentage gainer. Uh, contracts ran about 10% there on the um, on the puts that I mentioned and uh, I closed it out because SPY is trading in a downward channel and I realized that that this part of the channel was actually the support point so I didn't think that this was gonna just be an easy move where we drop like this and continue to fall um, uh, so I, that's why I closed that, that position out as soon as I realized what was going on. So then we start to get this rally back up, right? SPY breaks over $394. Um, on this candle right here, this is not an entry. Uh, this is actually where I, I, took, I, I made my next mention, which was I'm now looking for a 395 reject on SPY for the short idea. Extra confirmation would be a break back below 394. So if you didn't want to take the rejection off 395, I understand. But the confirmation, again, would have been a break back below 394. Um, the next mention that I made was, hey, I took my entry short. My stop loss is 395.5, and that was at 846. So that was literally on this candle right here. So here's what we have. I've got the mention of the trade idea right here where I said I'm looking for a short at 395. We get the run up to 395, which is right here. We get a, a doji candle formed at 395, and then another red candle started to print. I didn't I didn't totally top tick this. I mean, we, we called it, I called it out on this minute, but um, as soon as this started to come back down, that's when I took my entry, right? And so that, that was, uh, everything's time stamped here. Uh, took the entry short, stop loss is 395.5. So if I'm taking the entry short at 395, my stop loss is going to be 395.5, pretty close to the high of day, right? Because if this continues to push up, you know, obviously if it's breaking high of day, the trade then is not working out for me. So then two minutes later, I mentioned uh, that SPY, <clears throat> you can keep, oh, actually on, on that same minute, I did say you can keep your stop loss at 395 for a tighter exit. Because in reality, I suppose if it did break 395, why give this extra room to run, right? Might as well just close it. But it never even broke back over 395. It pulled back to retest it. So if you miss the initial entry here or here, you had another entry possible here and here. Um, but yeah, so two minutes later at the 48 minute mark, I said I closed some short into that new recent low there on the 395 reject. Um, and then I said at 851, there is the trigger re-break. We had an awesome entry. So that's 50, there's 51 right there. Spy back under the trigger on that same minute 
Spies back under the trigger from the short mention at 395 can take your profits here on those same puts. They move from 1.4 on the call out. They actually were at like 1.2 up here. But, you know, the average entry off of 395, whether you entered on this candle, this candle, this candle, or this candle, would have been somewhere near 1.4. So the contracts ran from 1.4 to 1.7 for 20% plus. So it was a rejection of 395 for the move down to, to close to low of day for 394. Now, here is the question that you all wanted to ask me. Yes, I missed this whole drop, right? But you know I'm a base hit trader. I'm gonna take my 10, 15, 20% gains when I'm offered them. So I was done after this, even though SPY continued to fall. Why short at 395, Gates? Why, why, why take that entry at 395 instead of taking the short entry at 394? Well, trader, I'm gonna tell you why. SPY is trading in a downward channel. We can see that very clearly. Here's your high, your lower high, your lower high, your lower high. Here's your low, your lower low, your lower low, your lower low. So I started off today looking at SPY short off of 394 and I'm thinking where, where can I take profits, right? Because low of day is always a potential support. If we drew a trend line from this low across connecting this peak or that low, our trend line will look something like this, right? And it makes sense that if SPY is trading in a channel, a downward channel, a falling channel, that this would be the support point. So this ties into why I took those profits there. And then you're thinking, why short at 395? We're gonna use the same method across the tops of these candles, right? So here's your high. We're gonna connect that opening rally and just draw a, a, a trend line across. So on, these, on each of these lower highs, it should not make a higher high if the trend is to continue down. And that is why I wanted to take an entry at 395 at the rejection of this trend line and the lower high rather than waiting to take the entry at 394. I just saw an opportunity to get more profits basically. So there's your channel on SPY, right? And if we're even extending this, if we're extending this, I suppose it would have made more sense to just hold and look to sell down here. Or even if you waited for the short entry under 394, your part, your profit target would have been probably on this drop or this drop right here as it neared the bottom side of this uh, this channel, this falling channel. So yeah, I mean, I left a, I left a lot of profits on the table. Um, Anastasia actually just posted that uh, she hit a hundred percent on the spy short contracts. I think that was yep, right there on the on the spy puts. Um, I mean, it's just it's it's kind of a textbook trade. Even if you're not understanding why I'm taking the entry at three ninety five. The short trigger based on the day trade watch list is 394. So we get that break below 394. Hey, one, two, three minutes of consolidation there below. Either one, of, any one of those minutes look good to take the entry for the run down. All right. Um, I'm going to move to the to the profits channel. I'm going to see where you guys are at today. 20% on spy. 20% uh, on spy. 25% on spy. 23, 21. 100%, there's another one, Boro Boro with another 100% with a 100% gainer on the puts. Um, and then of course, Anastasia posted that in the main chat. So I'm glad that you're realizing, um, you know, the, the trades that I'm taking and uh, trying to spend the time to study this stuff. But look, you don't have to take the same exact entries and exits that I do. The way that I trade, I know works for me extremely well. Um, but if you're trying to find your way of trading and find what works for you, I recommend just starting with the watch list and just trade the watch list according to the trigger levels, according to the rules, because that's gonna help you out. Um, even if you feel like you missed this short entry, it still dropped below 394. We still got the five minute candle closing below 394. The short entry in this area was still valid looked good for the run down plus we had a negative news catalyst okay so i hope it makes sense press that like button for me if it does thank you for your time and i will see you all later on i'm calling it a weekend here take care